Select the setup you entered. The customer information screen appears. You have an option to fill in this information or simply to press the enter key to bypass this screen. The engine information screen appears. Record the information or press the enter key to bypass. The propeller balance equipment setup screen is displayed. This screen directs you to install the tack and vibration sensors you specified during setup. If the equipment setup was previously completed, you need only verify tack triggering and sensor clock positions at this point. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see the tack on option. Press the F1 key to turn on the tack. Ensure mag switches are off prior to any movement of the propeller. Move the propeller blade with reflective tape back and forth in front of the photo tack beam. Use an inspection mirror to make sure the red LED gate indicator light on the aft end of the photo tack turns on and off as the tape crosses the beam. If a positive tack trigger is seen, the photo tack is operating properly. Before proceeding, make sure all trim balance weights installed during previous dynamic balance procedures are removed. Refer to the ACES system guide to propeller balancing found in your kit for a full list of FAA approved inspection requirements. With the sensor and tachometer installation complete, return to the cockpit and press enter on the analyzer. The start aircraft screen appears. Start the engine according to flight manual procedures. Allow the aircraft to reach the normal operating temperature and press enter on the keypad. The set engine speed screen appears, displaying the run number and engine number. The next line indicates the RPM balance speed specified in the setup, followed by your current RPM. Adjust the throttle and or prop lever so that the RPM on the two lines match as closely as possible. Press enter and the engine number run number screen appears. The current and average RPM frequency, IPS and phase are displayed along with the percentage error in averaging indicator. When the percentage error reaches its lowest point, Press the Enter key on the analyzer. The Review Job screen appears. IPS and phase, represented in degrees, are displayed for the sensor channels used. If you are satisfied with the run and ready for a solution, press Enter to accept. An information screen appears advising you to shut down the aircraft in accordance with the flight manual. Shut down the aircraft and press Enter to continue. The balance solution screen appears, advising you how much weight to apply in a specific location. Refer to the ACES system's Guide to Propeller Balancing found in your kit for specific guidance on installing weights and the Model 2020 User's Manual for directions on the use of the propeller protractor. Match the recommended weight as closely as possible and install the weight as near the suggested location as feasible. As exactly as possible, Enter the weight and angle where requested on the screen and press enter. The start aircraft screen appears. Follow the same procedure for your second run. Continue performing runs until you achieve a satisfactory result. Install permanent weights in accordance with the ACES system guide to propeller balancing. Most maintenance personnel like to print the balance job for their permanent records. To print a report, Press the main menu key on your analyzer, then select and enter the miscellaneous items subheading. Under miscellaneous items, select and enter printer setup for detailed instructions. After setting up the printer, press the main menu key. Connect the communications cable to the analyzer and the printer. Make sure the power is on for the printer and the analyzer. From the main menu screen, select and enter prop balance. From this screen, select and enter Manage Jobs. From this screen, select and enter the Print function. Select the job to print and press Enter. The Analyzer screen indicates the status and when the printing is completed. Leave the equipment in place for Part 2 of this training using Spectral Analysis. Using Spectral Analysis allows you to complete and store surveys using the Setup feature. Several different components can be surveyed without manually entering the setup data between surveys. To begin, press Main Menu on your analyzer. Select and enter Vibration Spectrum Surveys. From this screen, select Start a Job. The Spectra Setup screen appears. 
Default values in some fields appear automatically, but can be changed to more appropriate data. Although name is an optional field, it's best to name each setup to differentiate it from other spectra you'll store in the future. Determine and enter the minimum and maximum frequency requirements. For pointed in boxes, use the left and right arrows to navigate between selections. Choose either RPM or Hertz for your frequency units. Select and set the resolution field. 400 lines is adequate for most applications. For average type, navigate and choose between normal and peak. Blocks in average refers to the number of data blocks you want used in the calculations. Higher numbers provide more reliable data but require more time. Measure inputs determines from which channels the vibration data is acquired. Navigate among A, B, or A and B. Enter a defining name in channel A description and channel B description as necessary. Select and set the vibration field to the appropriate type of units for display on the amplitude or Y axis. Mod is an abbreviation for the unit modifier relevant to the unit specified. Navigate and choose the most appropriate selection. Full scale vibration indicates the maximum amplitude you expect to encounter. Navigate and choose the selection that displays the full amplitude. Select among the choices in the sensor field until the desired sensor is displayed. Refer to your owner's manual to add additional sensors to this list. Press Enter. A screen appears asking if you'd like to store this new setup. Press F1 to accept and store the setup. The customer information screen appears. Entering this information is optional, but providing a customer name is recommended as it will aid in identification of the job for resuming or reviewing purposes at a later date. Start the component you are checking and let it achieve normal operating conditions. Press Enter to begin acquiring data. When the spectra is displayed, observe the three boxes at the bottom of the screen. The first box, Options, corresponds to the F1 key. Press the F1 key and the boxes change to read Cursor, X Scale, and Y Scale. Press the F1 key again and the boxes change to Normal, Harmonic, and None. Press either the left or right arrow keys to produce a normal cursor, as well as an X and Y value readout box. Move the cursor along the X axis using the right and left arrow keys. The value of both axes are displayed in the readout boxes according to the current position of the cursor. Press the F1 key twice and then choose the key corresponding to harmonic, the F2 key. Multiple harmonic cursors appear to the right of the fundamental frequency. When the fundamental frequency cursor is moved, the multiple cursors automatically follow the movement and position at the new multiple. Press the F1 key twice, then the F3 key and the three boxes return to the original names. Press the F1 key for options, then the F2 key for X scale. The boxes change to read Expand, Default, and Shrink. Press the F1 key corresponding to Expand, and the X scale of the spectra enlarges. The three boxes at the bottom of the screen automatically revert to the original three choices, Options, Pause, and Restart. Press the F1 key, then access the X scale by pressing F2. Press the F3 key corresponding to shrink and the X scale of the spectra is reduced. The three boxes at the bottom of the screen automatically revert to the original three choices, options, pause, and restart. Press the F1 key, then access the X scale by pressing F2. Access the default setting by pressing the F2 key again and the analyzer returns the X and Y scales to the values specified in the setup. The three boxes at the bottom of the screen automatically revert to the original three choices, Options, Pause, and Restart. Press the F1 key, then press the key corresponding to the Y scale, F3. Here you can perform the Expand, Default, and Shrink functions for the Y axis in the same manner. After finishing, Choose the key corresponding to pause, F2. Pressing the key stops data acquisition and freezes the screen with the latest displayed data. 
press the key corresponding to resume, which is F3. The Model 2020 will acquire additional data. Anytime the spectrum is displayed on the screen, you may press Enter to terminate data acquisition. To print your vibration spectrum surveys, follow the same procedure for printing balance reports. Spectral analysis can seem intimidating at first, but it isn't difficult once you understand the basic concepts. ACES Systems offers extensive training on spectral analysis as well as other applications to help you use this versatile equipment to your best advantage. Please contact us if you have questions or would like information on additional training. At ACES Systems, our goal is to provide you with the equipment and the knowledge to quickly and efficiently analyze, balance, and monitor aircraft performance. The ability to observe and quantify engine vibration and noise levels allows you to trend engine performance, resulting in the safest, smoothest flight possible and prolonging the life of the aircraft. The Model 2020 Pro Balancer Analyzer allows you to maintain your aircraft at optimum levels. And that's why we're here to create better aviation maintenance solutions for you. ACES Systems.